When you hear hoofbeats, think horses, not zebras. That adage, coined by American physician Dr. Theodore Woodward in the 1940s, is drilled into the brains of medical students. When assessing a patient's symptoms, they are told common conditions should be considered before rare ones. That is sound advice, but of course it must be kept in mind that zebras may be rare, but they do exist. And they have some interesting features, the striped appearance being the most striking one. Exactly why this unusual pattern has evolved has been the subject of theories ranging from confusing predators and thermoregulation to easy recognition of potential mates. There's another possibility, one actually backed by evidence, and that is the prevention of attack by biting flies. Tim Carroll, professor of wildlife biology at the University of California, makes a strong case in his book, Zebra Stripes, for the black and white pattern deterring insects. This sparked the interest of Japanese agricultural researchers who wondered if this observation could be put to practical use. Biting flies are a huge problem in the cattle industry. Stable flies, black flies, horn flies, and lice are just some of the insects that look on cows as a tasty treat. Not only can this lead to disease transmission, but repeated bites cause stress hormones to rise, reducing food intake and milk production. To tackle the problem, farmers resort to insecticides such as pyrethroids, uh, permethrin, organophosphates like diazinon, as well as antiparasitic agents like ivermectin. Yeah, that's the same ivermectin that misinformants have claimed to be a treatment for COVID-19. Given that the use of insecticides comes with baggage, the researchers pondered whether the zebra's insect deterrent power can be applied to cows. What about painting the animals? That is exactly what they did. They actually painted the cows. A selection of black Japanese cows were painted either with alternating black and white stripes, only black stripes, or not at all. Cameras were set up so that the tethered cow's behavior in terms of head throwing, foot stomping, skin twitching, and tail flicking could be monitored, and the numbers of biting flies counted. Results were interesting. The fly repelling behavior and the number of landing flies were reduced on the black and white striped cows relative to the unpainted or black striped cows. To state the researcher's conclusion, this work provides an alternative to the use of conventional pesticides for mitigating biting fly attacks on livestock that improves animal welfare and human health, in addition to helping resolve the problem of pesticide resistance in the environment. Somewhat optimistic and unrealistic, I would think. How many farmers are going to test their artistic talents on cows in the field that are unlikely to cherish the idea of becoming a canvas. That for today is our Cup of Joe.